Hi, beautiful. Um, so as you guys know, I've had quite a few different haircuts, hairstyles, hair colors in my past on YouTube and just in life in general. It's been a journey um, to get where I am today. I didn't always used to have the same hair color for so long. Now I'm rocking the same colors for months on end or even a year. And you guys will sometimes watch my really old videos and comment on them and be like, oh my God, like look at his hair. Look at how different it was. What was he doing back then with his hair? And girl, I don't know what I was doing half the time. I was trying all different trying to see what worked for me and I definitely haven't found it yet. So we're gonna check out a bunch of clips from a bunch of different YouTube videos from my past, some videos that are private. So I'm going through the archives of private videos and looking through the things that I used to do to my hair and where it all began and how we got here with this blue sort of mullet situation going on. With that all said, I can't wait to roast myself and all my past looks with you guys. So let's do it. All right, so this first one is from <laughs> the archives. Here I am with these long, luscious locks. Yeah, wow, okay. To be honest with you, I'm obsessed. My hair looked so good. That color could not have been prettier. I grew it out from a double process and just kept growing it. And then I was like highlighting it at one point and doing like a full foil. And then I did less foils and less foils as it grew out. So it had this like really beautiful ombre. And then I kept on highlighting the front pieces and just like toning the ends. Oh my God, it looked so healthy and so pretty. And I finally got it to like a real long bob length, which took forever to do. And soon after this, I went to Thailand for like two months. So it was like the perfect look for that. And I remember this day I used like a curling iron and like wrapped it and did all this with it, but I definitely look like a woman and that's okay. I love being feminine and definitely embracing my femininity. Love this look. I want this hair sometimes back on my head, but I don't know if I have it in me to grow back out. I don't know. It was a lot. I just felt kind of like ugly when I didn't do it. You know, I had to always have it done. I mean, that's a pretty solid look. I'm going to rank that one like a solid 10 out of 10. Like how could I not? It was gorgeous. Like, give me a break. And then sometimes I'd wear it in this bun, which what the f I also look really good here too. Also, why does my hairline look so good there? It definitely receded more and I'm definitely wearing a lot more makeup than I do now. Uh, hmm, questionable. The bun was a solid like seven out of 10. It could have been thicker. It was cute though. And I will take it. I f***ed up though. Here is actually the start of my YouTube channel. This is 2016. Why was I making this face? I was like, Oh, let's be serious. I mean, I still do that. Wow. Okay, thick hair. Is it still that thick? I don't think so. It's called aging. Uh -huh. Wish I could stop it, but I can't. Ugh, hairline goals. This was me growing out my hair, and this is when I got like a little bit annoying. I just wanted that really long hair that you just saw, but it was taking forever to grow out, and I hated it. Like. Girl, you're doing the best with what you got at the time, but it's not good for me. So I'm gonna give that one like a five out of 10 because it just like wasn't good, but I had to go there to get to where I got. These are like my travel vlogs. These have gone off the channel. Um, they have a whopping, uh, let's see how many views this one has. 558 views. I was a really popular YouTuber back then. I did make videos every other day while traveling. And yes, they all got 200 to 500 views. and I I kept going. I was also a little devastated, but it's okay. This was how my hair really looked most of the time. Like, okay, <laughs> kind of dope. Me just gassing myself up today, okay. I mean, come on, you guys. That hair wet was a vibe. 10 out of 10. Just wanted to show you that one real quick. Right after that, I then went to the best salon in um, Vietnam. My Vietnamese people out there, how are you? Um, I love Vietnam. I don't know why I wanted this hair gone so bad, but I decided this was going to be the day that I go and get my hair cut and I found this salon and I just did it. I was looking rough that day. Okay. So he started cutting it all off and I was like, holy sh there's my hair all on the ground. Oh my God. And then we ended up with this hair, which was just not as cute and not as fun, but my hair looks really full and pretty. And he did a good, really great job at cutting it. I would give that like a seven out of 10, like cute, but like a little too fluffy and a little too like, woo, foofy. I don't know. I'm not really like that anymore. So I can't really relate to that style, but I definitely wanted that like undercut, like, I don't know, like butch look, um, not me anymore. And then we ended up here. I bleached my hair, which I think this is a way better look. I would 100% 
rock this hair right now. Like, I love this color. This is like surprising that these are all the better looks of mine because they're so old, but this is really cute. Uh, I really think it brings on my eyes and my eyebrows. My eyebrows were definitely really dark. I was doing something there. Okay, this one, a 10 out of 10 too. I don't know why it's looking so good, but it is. I don't know why I'm looking so chunky and so thick. What is this haircut? Why does it look so good? I love this like bowl cut fringe I have going on. I want this. Not me giving my own self hair inspo. So I actually ended up dyeing my hair pink in this. I remember hating it. I never did well with having colorful hair, but I was definitely having an identity crisis at this point and just wanted to keep coloring my hair. Um, So I did it and I hated it. Um, Now looking back, it is so pink. Let's not do that. Okay, so it didn't show up for some reason and my hair looks worse for some reason. I don't like this at all. I would say six out of 10 on this one. Um, Kind of ugly. Kind of liked it way better before. I was going through a lot at this point. I just want to preface this one by saying that, as you can see it on my face. So don't make fun of me too bad, but this is also in the archives. I had a shaved head. Was it terrible? Yes. Will I do it again? Maybe, but I won't look this terrible this time. God, I look so boring. Uh-uh. I'm gonna give this one like a three out of 10. I'm gonna give this one a three out of 10. It was just like bad. And for a long time, I just started growing it out until I then did this blindfold hair color challenge, which ended up really backfiring because it looked terrible. It came out out really bad. I did like lavender and pink. It's gonna be a solid no for me. Maybe it's just my face that's throwing it off. Like I just feel like I look sick. This was the start of kind of my real YouTube life and I was having a hard time adjusting to it. That's why I look like I haven't seen the sun in five years. Four out of 10 on this one. It was really ugly. It was so splotchy and so gross. Then I went and started doing all these different colors. And at one point I had <laughs> neon green. It was so neon that the camera like couldn't pick up all the different colors going on. I'm not gonna lie, I love it. Once X Mondo color comes out with neon green, I'm going to do it. Um, I'm gonna give that a nine out of 10. It kind of made me look good. I don't know, maybe look like kind of tan. And then I went back blonde, did a few different haircuts, nothing really that important. Kind of rocked this like, I didn't really rock it, but I did this like, thing for a little while. Um, this is just like a notable mention where I had like the sides dark and the top platinum blonde. I had no choice though, because when you have a dull process and you have to shave the sides off all the time, it ends up being dark on the sides and light on the top. I hated that. I wish it would stop, but I couldn't make it stop. I'm gonna give this like four out of 10. Terrible, ugly, hated it. Finally, we made it to 2018. We went on to this um, interesting little pink moment that looked like poop. And my first ever merch that you guys loved that I definitely grew out of and ended up hating. It actually wasn't that bad. Um, it has like an X in the back. I'm sure a lot of you guys still have it, but the hair was ugly. I don't like the pink. Kind of washes me out. Blue's way better on me. Four out of 10, ugly. I don't know, it's just like bad. I don't like the dark sides of the pink on the top and the haircut was just like kind of weird. So then I stuck with platinum blonde for a long time um, and kind of just changed the haircuts a little bit. Here's a notable mention of another pink color I did, but I'm glad I finally was like, this actually is not working for me and I think that I should stop off my hair so much. And then I did this. Apparently it got worse because now I look like I have a pink mushroom on my head with the ugliest shirt. I think somebody bought me that, so sorry whoever bought me that, but it's heinous. One out of 10, uh, even a zero, one. I'm gonna give myself a one out of 10 on that one. I don't know if any of you guys have been with me long enough to know that I had like 20 mental breakdowns. I'm still having mental breakdowns about being on YouTube, but I would just get like so down on myself when the views just stopped sometimes. This video is called, I can't do this anymore. And I'm pretty sure I just hit a million subscribers and apparently I couldn't do it anymore. But it's also the most amazing job or else I wouldn't be doing it. And I brag about it all the time. Here I was wearing a lot of lip gloss, but went back to the undercut with blonde. It was bad, ugly and awful, four out of 10. Because like I would wear it, but like it's just bad. Okay, so this got kind of better. I went back short with the top and had this light pink moment. Just what the hell am I wearing? The cut was kind of fun. I like that it's shorter. I like that I was doing different things. I don't like how the bangs are pushed over because it made my forehead look really large and like I was balding. I do like the color. I like the lighter pink. This little light pink moment with the pink background is kind of a vibe. Um, the background looks so ugly with the wood table. Girl, I literally had no sense of style. Five out of 10 on that one. I'll give, I'll give it to that. I'll give that one to me. So this is what happens when you mix together like 10 different colors and put it on your head. Literally right after I filmed this video, I bleached the 
out of my hair to get it out because I hated it so much. And it ended up not coming out well. And I had to bleach it like three times. And my hair was so demolished and fried after this. I'm gonna give this a two out of 10 because it's scar it was scarring. I hated every second of it and I will never mix every single color together again. So then I grew out the sides. I actually really liked this look and it still do. I don't know the way I liked the hair. I liked the little piece in the front. We're getting to more of like my style now, even though this is still 2018, but this is December. So it was almost 2019. And I don't know, I liked it. I thought the crop was nice. Wasn't my absolute favorite. So I'm gonna give this like an eight out of 10. Kind of enjoy it. So I start off this video with this most beautiful blonde hair. And then I end up doing split dye. I did this mint color with this pink it ended up looking good. I actually really like this. I remember liking it in person and then the next day being like, well, I'm not wearing this to real life. So I ended up coloring it again back to blonde. <laughs> soon after. Nine out of 10 for this. I liked the cut with the color and I liked the middle part. Oh, this is the one that I was trying to find. Here I am with some faded pink hair and it looked bad. I ended up coloring my hair like a Sprite bottle. Why would I do that? I thought people would like it. Nobody liked it. Nobody cared. And so yeah, we did this really heinous green color and this really heinous yellow color. Then I put this earring on just to top off the look because I thought it wasn't bad enough. One out of 10. Oh my God. Let's just forget about that one. I know that that Sprite hair like really scarred me because after that, I goes on for like a year without changing my hair color, which was really impressive to, for me because I had done that in a really long time and I always would change my hair but I'm looking through right now and there's literally nothing that happened with my hair for the longest time okay so here I have pink tips I think I look kind of good the shirt's fun I can't wait through that why did I get rid of that shirt it's so fun fun but wasn't really vibing I was trying really hard which I definitely was I'm still am always trying hard wasn't that great four out of ten on that one you guys were all shook because I was platinum blonde for so long and I finally did something a little different here which was was just brought down my kind of root color and shaved the sides really short. That extreme pompadour undercut thing was just like not a vibe. But I loved when I did this, like at the time I was like, wow, I have darker hair and I look so much better. I remember being so excited about it, but I don't like the color. <laughs> it looks like gray. It looked like really dull and lifeless, but you guys really seem to like it. Six out of 10, cause it was like definitely fun, but I hate it looking back. And then it just got darker and darker progressively until we got to the darkest part. Cause I was like addicted to having dark hair all of a sudden and I thought I looked fierce, which I actually do look fierce. Love this haircut, love this color. I look like a basic Sometimes you just gotta look like a basic to appreciate looking not like one. I'm gonna give this one a 10 out of 10. It was like boring, but it was good. You have to admit it guys, come on. After that, you guys, it was just the same old me for a whole year. We changed the cut a few times. I went shorter. I went longer. We had this haircut. Pretty cute. Looking at me now and looking at this, I'm like, wow, it really was. Like, I don't know how you guys still watched me at that point because it was boring. So then I started growing the mullet out, which ended up being very much a mullet at one point. As you can see here, we had the brown haired highlighted mullet. It was like down to here at one point and it was cute. Looking back, like I definitely think I look a little raggedy. This is a cute frame to stop on. <laughs> Ooh, seven out of 10 for the mullet. So then it was the day that I came out with X Mondo color. And of course I had to color my hair with it. Ooh, super blue color. And I had the really long mullet. It was a vibe. I'm gonna give myself this one. This is a 10 out of 10. I was kind of killing it and the makeup was fun. It's definitely faded a lot compared to this. Are you kidding? It's on its way out. Should I go back to the dark blue or keep it like this? So that brings me to today's hair, which is this. It's a little more of a mohawk than a mullet these days. My hair needs to be redone <laughs> because at this point I just have like the tips colored. Your boy doesn't have time, okay? He's trying to do it all. I like my hair now. I would give it like an eight out of 10. I'm not obsessed with it, but I do like it a lot. That's my journey. So yeah, those are like some of my looks that I had. I actually had way more than that, but I couldn't show you everything because this video would be five hours long. As you can see, some looks were really bad. Some were good and cute and I kind of missed some of them and I actually save some of them on my computer to look back on them. If you guys see me with an old hairdo, it's because of this video. So if you guys care to let me know which one was your favorite, I would lo actually love to know. Leave a comment below. And while you're at it, if you're not already subscribed, it's right there, subscribe. Press the like button and the bell icon to be notified every time I post a new video. You can also be notified when I post a new video by texting us a number. Yes, it is really connected to my phone. Yes, I see all your messages. And yes, I'll be texting a few of you back if you text me right now. Make sure you guys follow me everywhere else. Here are all my social media handles all around me. Ooh. If you guys like beautiful, 
amazing, fabulous hair and hair color. You guys can now shop my hair color and my hair products at xmonohair.com, linked below. And you can also go to our Instagram, xmonohair and xmonocolor for color. So check it out. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Steph and she says, hi Brad, I used to have long hair, but in March 2020, I cut it really short. I'm struggling to come up with ideas when it comes to my hair. What color should I do next? Also, thank you for inspiring me to become a hairdresser. Aw, you're so sweet. Good luck as a hairdresser. You're gonna kick girl. I'm seeing like a hot pink moment, but like kind of red, like a hot pink red in your whole head. I feel like it'll look really good with your skin. Also like maybe like a little more of a bang, like kind of fun for you. If you do it, let me know. I'd love to see it. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.